Did you know manna still falls from heaven? A few months ago, I was talking with one of my friends, and she asked if I had heard about the country in Africa where manna falls twice a week. I was like, what? What are you talking about? This isn't the days of Moses and the Israelites wandering around through the desert and God sending manna down. And I looked it up, and she was right. In Angola, in the village of Namba, there is an Adventist mission compound there. And twice a week, on Wednesdays and Fridays, manna appears in this field. Back in the 30s, there was a famine in that part of it. Well, I think they're still under famine, which is why the manna still falls. But it began back, I think, in the 30s. There's a science article that was written in 1947, and it references 1939. I'm not sure how far before that the mission appeared. But I'll link the article, and I'll also link a video, both excellent. So anyway, there was this mission, and the missionary and his family, and the people were there living in, in this mission compound area, and there was a famine. And during this time, the missionary went off to visit some other churches, and he was gone quite a while. And while he was gone, they ran out of food, um, they didn't know what to do, so one of the ladies um, prayed for food or from help from God. And I don't know how long it was after the prayer, but that one of the little girls in the compound went out and she was in one of the fields and she either saw the manna first and was confused and some men came up and told her to eat it and she did or either they showed her the manna. I'm not sure on that. But anyway, they told her about the manna. She tried it. It tasted good. She took it back to the mission, told them what had happened, and they went looking for these men these European men, and they, they were nowhere to be found. They couldn't find them anywhere. So anyway, the missionary came back, and they told him about it. And ever since then, there's manna has been falling, except for during the Civil War. When there was the Civil War in that area, the mission was destroyed, and so the manna stopped. And when they rebuilt the mission, the manna began falling again. And ever since then, every Wednesday and Friday, unless there is rain, manna appears in this certain area. And they go and collect it, and it holds over. Now, we you know, know from the Bible that in the days of Moses, they were not able to hold it over. And the signs article it brings out that you know God was trying to teach them faith, and that if they held it over any other time than through Sabbath, then it was spoiled. Well, this falls every Wednesday and Friday. It holds over um, just fine, and as long as it doesn't rain, it appears. And I just think that that is absolutely amazing. And in the video, they show manna, they show it in the field, um, they show people tasting it and trying to describe what it tastes like. Um, it's little white things. And they say it tastes kind of, you know, like honey, kind of like a cake, kind of sweet, which goes right along with what the Bible says. And if you look in Exodus chapter 16, verse 31, it says, The house of Israel named it manna, and it was like coriander seed, white, and it tastes was like wafers with honey. So, just like how the Bible describes it. And I think this story is Amazing. I mean, how many years manna has been falling? Why do more people not know about this? I found a couple things on YouTube, a couple articles on the internet. Other than that, that was it. I mean, is no one else amazed by this? It shows that God still performs miracles. He takes care of his people. If there's anyone that doubts that, you know, hear people today talking about well, the, God doesn't do miracles like he did in the Bible anymore. Or he doesn't answer prayers. Or he doesn't this. Oh my goodness, people. Manna is appearing in the field in Africa weekly. I mean, he is taking care of those people. And they are faithful to him. The video goes on to say that as long as everyone in the church is trying their hardest to follow God and they're repentant and they're not harboring any sins and haven't strayed, then the manna tastes sweet. But if anyone is strayed away from God or has done something they shouldn't have or is harboring sin or anything like that, then the um, color changes and the manna becomes very bitter. 
So anyway, check out the links below the video. Um, the first part is about another miracle that took place in that village. Also a very good story, but the, but the rest of the video, which is, ends up being the majority of it, talks about manna. Check it out. Read the science article. I just felt the need to share this with you because, like I said, to me, this is incredible. And I don't know how more people are not talking about this. More people don't know about it because everyone I talked to since learning about it had never heard of it before. Manna, real manna is falling. 